Welcome to week two of Hanging Out in Hebrews for six months. If you haven't already, would you hit that subscribe button and hit the like button for me too. And if you want notifications, hit that bell. Let's get to reading. Hebrews 5, 7 through 14. In the days of his flesh, he offered up both prayers and supplications with loud crying and tears to the one able to save him from death. And he was hurt because of his piety. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from the things which he suffered. And having been made perfect, he became to all those who obey him the source of eternal salvation, being designated by God as a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek. Concerning him, we have much to say, and it is hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you have need again for someone to teach you the elementary principles of the oracles of God, and you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed to the word of righteousness, for he is an infant. But solid food is for the mature, who because of practice have their senses trained to discern good and evil. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. I will see you tomorrow. Maranatha. It's too hard, I say. Teach me to be still, but I don't want to sit. Let me be a candle for you, just leave the flame unlit. Pick me up, no set me down, I'm ready for more, that's too much now. Help me out, I'll do it by myself. Give me your word, but I'll put it on the shelf. I need more time. Oh, look, a lazy day. Lord, forgive my ungrateful ways. 